Elmo Coloma, architect Elmo Coloma, will be our third man in the ring for this one. As soon as the whole population of Ifugao province leaves the ring, we will begin this bout for the vacant uh, Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship. And we heard the resume of both fighters as Boy Villanera was announcing them. Here's uh, architect Elmo Coloma. Lagi protektahan ninyo ang sarili nyo at sumunod lagi sa mga utos ko. Magliwanag ba? Sige, magkamay kayo at good luck sa inyong dalawa. And uh, again, looking back at those records, uh, Benazir Alolod, 12 wins, uh, 19 wins and uh, 12 losses, 7 wins coming by way of KO. This guy ruled the light, the flyweight division for several years, uh, winning the PBF, okay, the Philippine one. title, as that well one. as the WBC international title. So he's no pushover to the undefeated Carl James Martin. You know, Carl James Martin already outside when he was stepping in too. Pops in his jab, established. Goes a jab straight hook already. Very, very nice crisp shots for Martin. And a lot of people are saying this fight, this, this fight, despite being scheduled for 10, will not make it to 10 rounds. You know, Martin looks like a very crafty fighter. Snap on the foot. Yeah, and, and he doesn't do much of the dancing that you see from other fighters. No, no. This guy is flat-footed, no, no. and he assassinates people. I mean, I remember what he did to Petro uh, uh, Coquette Gym in the third round. He just decked him. Power Out of the blue, cold. Power. Cold one hand, one hand strike. It's that fast switch muscles. Yeah. Looks like he's training. I don't know what they're doing at the Ifugao province, but yeah. he's training. And uh, Ben is here, Alulod. Again, no pushover. This guy also knows what he's doing. But the nice thing about Alulod, the four bouts that I've covered for, for him before, after the first round, if he survives the first round in this one, by the way, after the first round, he's a different fighter because he now adjusts to his opponent. So he collects that data, Yeah. make sure. So what uh, it could be for Martin, what he needs to do is just start, start fast. That's yeah. the main thing. Don't let him, don't allow him to get that data. I think he just hurt us. Well, combination there was dropped again by Carl James Martin. And the crowd here knows that this is going to be a short bout. The question is, who's going to end up with the, uh, with the victory here? Great stiff jab. He tries to go for that lead uppercut. Failed to do so. But the footwork of Martin is something else. Great counter punches by Martin as well. Very Martin, snappy yeah. shots. Carl James Martin now trying to employ the jab to set up the power punches. And all of the shots that he takes are actually power punches. I've actually heard a comment before that he could be Bruce Lee reincarnated oh. into a Philippine boxer. It could be. He's very quick and snappy. Remember, he's 20 years old. Yeah. Only great body shot already stuns the 28-year-old Benesera Lulod. Again, they call him the Wonder Boy. His last Philippine opponent before this, he had been going up uh, particularly against the uh, Thai fighters. His last Philippine opponent, we saw him earlier, Vincent Bautista. Oh, that match. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that other one could have just been a tune-up, right? Yeah. So Vincent Bautista, last, uh, his last opponent was way back in October 28, 2017. So he's been fighting uh, fighters out of Thailand ever since. But now he has been, uh, now he has an opportunity to actually win a PVF crown. Is that jab? He's smiling. A great jab right now. Now the switch stance of Alulod. What Alulod needs to do is just really work. Take him apart. Right. Take him apart. Work slowly. Work slowly. You can't go with the U. 20 to 28. That's a whole different thing. That's the round number one. Look at the confidence shown by uh, Carl Hamas Martin as round number one comes to an end. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this right now. Benacer Lulod uh, turned pro 10 years ago from Santa Rosa City, Laguna. Reminiscence of uh, Edwin Valero last fight. A loss to a 10th round unanimous decision against June Balasso last May 4th, 2019. On the meanwhile, on the other hand, Carlos Hamed Martin. Last fight, he won by a first round TKO. Noel, you were talking yeah. about this yeah, fight. Yeah, we, we actually saw that here. That was held in the Philippines against uh, Beauty Chai Wana Wong. And look at that. Look at the power. That's Bahamitra saying that it's all clear right now. Like they fixed the problem, at least for the moment. Round number two is underway. Noel Zarate alongside Rico Robles in our supporting main event for the vacant Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship. Between Carl James Martin and the uh, red trunks trimmed in gold. 
And uh, Benazir Alolo. You know, Martin is undefeated. Yeah. 13 and 0, 12 KOs. Benazir Alolo trying to get it back. Well, Benazir Alolo, his last four bouts has actually uh, been on a roller coaster ride. His last uh, bout was actually a loss in the 10th round against uh, Jude Lazo, as you said. But before that, he won by a TKO. And before that bout, he lost a unanimous decision. But before that bout, he won again by a TKO. So this is actually, uh, well, a circle of life for him. Let's see if it'll <laughs> work in his favor this time. All right, it should be. He should be scheduled for a win after that roller coaster we just mentioned. And we were talking about Carl James Martin, of course, knocking out 12 of his 13 opponents. The last time he did not knock out an opponent, you'll have to go back to October 28th. 2017 and uh, make that October, uh, April 19, 2017. But he went up against uh, Jason Buena Obra. That fight went the distance, eight rounds. And of course, uh, Carl Hamas Martin won that one. The only non knockout win in his professional career. But right now, this fight oh! is Rockham Sakam Robot. That's what's happening. Martin is throwing a lot of big shots, and Alulod is just accepting it. But then Alulod's trying to see where he is and throwing shots as well. Tanggap lo nang tanggap. Yeah, yeah. Parang Alulod si Alulod. Well, he's got a solid chin, that's for sure. But can he just survive the power? I mean, he can't just keep absorbing shots now from Carl James Martin. And Carl James Martin, even his movements uh -oh. were class. That was a swing and a miss, almost cost him there. And a solid shot there, coming from Martin. And Martin has pinned Alolo against the ropes. Great moves by Martin. Staying focused. You remember the rules oh. of boxing. Protect right. yourself at all times. Uh oh all right, That is now him. eight shots coming from Martin with no reply from Alolo. Martin just gave him a cute smile. You know, I was like, hey, is that all you got? Show you head movement. Oh, oh nice wow. shot. This kid's special. This is my first time to witness this yeah. guy oh, in action. Wow. A hot, a great head movement. Well, this is the first time I'm seeing him go up against the Filipino because he usually goes up against a Thai fighter and continues that, just goes on to demolish a Thai fighter. Final seconds, though. Of round number two, so Alonov has done well to survive the onslaught, and he's trying to finish this round strong. And I'm like a ghost; you can't hit me. That's what Carl James Martin is saying to Venezuela Alonov as round number two comes to an end. The bout is about to begin. With the way he's looking. In between, here we go. Let's take a look at a replay with a step back right there. Successful connecting. He didn't stop. That's the main thing. You know, when you're in oh. that situation, just keep on throwing because the rules to protect yourself at all times goes, you know, a long way. Now, with Martin in this round, what he showed here is that distance management, yeah. grading patient, hot shotting is working its way. Watch out for this kid. And if we say kid, he's only 20 years old. A little load now. Challenging him to go toe to toe. Yeah. Alolod now starting this round strong. Martin has seven, eight, nine consecutive jabs connecting to the head of Benazir Alolod. I want to see this kid's amateur record. <laughs> he looks very, very good. He looks like he's going to be taking those belts that he got. He's going to add some more. Either Muhammad Ali shuffles on him right now. Yeah. He's just clowning. Right now to yeah, get but that he's got win. a serious face while he's doing it too. He's smiling a bit. Setting up some traps, that's what he's trying to do. Making sure Alolo will try to launch in there and counter to get that knockout. He's invading well as well. Okay, about Carl James Martin. What Alolo needs to do is hit the body. Right. You know, uh, he's headhunting. That's what he's been doing and Martin knows that. As he just keeps on slipping and slipping and slipping once again. The problem is Martin is too fast for Alolo to even keep pace with. He wants to keep him in front of him, but Martin all of a sudden just pulls out a move and slips to the side. And luckily for Benazir Alolo, he hasn't been hit yet. Remember that double end bag you mentioned at the yeah, gym? Yeah. yeah, this is when you work on a double end bag, you'll be easily hit him. But again, hit him in the body and the head will follow. So all you got to do is hit him in the body. But Alolo's still trying to work on that head. He's getting, oh! oh! He just missed that one, just grazed the chin 
I'll bet is that Alalod. That would have sent another guy to heaven. Good combination here, though, by Alalod. You know, the well, what you come to notice as well, when Alalod throws a hook, he doesn't raise his other hand. Mm -hmm. But that's how you check a hooker, is by throwing a hook as well. Right. Oh, Alalod showing some fight here, connecting to the head of Carl James Martin, as we have less than a minute remaining in the third. Alalod now making Martin miss. Great jab, San Martin. Carl James Martin now going to the hook as well. And this is starting to become a tough round to score. Let's see who can finish strong in the final half minute. I would love to spar with this dude. He's excited. Oh. He's hard to miss. Look at him. He's like a Pernell Whitaker. <laughs> That's his hand right there. The late, great Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. All you boxing fans out there. Almost got away with a the combination there as well. Be a tough round to score here, Rico. Final seconds of the third. Uh oh. Nice shot. Uh oh. Well, not tough anymore. Hey! It looks like Carl James Martin steals the round. From Venezuela alone. What is? 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 Of uh, James, I make mean, it Carl James Martin. That's the jab, jab buffet, as they say. Yeah. He tried to do it to the body as well by Alulod. Yeah, Alulod had his moments there, but towards the end of that, Carl James Martin just turned up the heat and took that round. So unofficially, we have the first three rounds for Carl James Martin. Not that Benazir Alulod has not been doing much, but he's just up against somebody he's got to step up his game against. On the later rounds, the question, will Carl James Martin still take this at the same snappy, playful way? Right. You know, his last fight was a first round TKO. So here we go, he's working the body already. Well, I guess Koke Jim, this happened. He dropped Koke Jim for the first time in the third round. By the fifth round, nothing was going to happen. Oh, great combination by Martin. And this is where Martin nice does his damage. What he's doing right now, the one is level changing. He's trying to set him up for a check hook. Trying to invade him in. Invite him in. Once he steps forward with a jab straight that usually all the Manny Pacquiao fans would throw, yeah. he's going to throw a hook, Martin will. And look at the respect also being shown now by Carl James Martin. He knows that Alonod also has fast hands and good foot speed to keep up with him. But great head movement by Martin. It is rare that I see this here in the Philippines, you know, most... Oh, oh nice shot! As a left-hand lead! A reminiscence of Dodi Ahas Nietes. Yeah, coming out of nowhere with that one. And now, Alulod is backing up Martin. Again, Alulod not going for any body shots. He's a headhunter. Yeah. Martin is just going for everything, though. Barely That's escaped that. See, that was a bolo punch. Yeah. It's one of those punches that you only see from Riddick Bow. Uh -huh. Stiff jab just misses again for Carl James Martin. Martin no oh. longer play. Oh, what a Gets counter. Tagged there by Alonodo with the right hand. And Martin is staggered a bit after that. Martin gone on serious mode right now. Yeah. Punches and bunches he's throwing. It's four straight. Connecting to the head of Alalod, but he better be careful. That's why he's showing a lot of respect now for Benazir Alalod. Alalod does have the hand speed to get through the defense, just like right there, Rico. Great counter punching by Alalod. Oh, nice one by Martin. Alalod, they're now trying to exchange power punches. And if that is so, Alalod's at a disadvantage. If you can only see the people here in Mandaluyo, everybody's standing with their cell phones recording. Oh, they know they're in the presence of somebody. And I'm talking about Carl James Martin, who could be a future world champion. 
But Alulon is giving him a run for his money. And again, this is a vacant title they're up against. So it's anybody's game. It's anybody's trophy. Nobody won it. Nobody lost it. Yes. Someone's got to pick it up, though, today. He's got to keep on throwing. Martin changing his pace. And Alulon still can't solve oh. that jab, but they do exchange right hooks. Final seconds of the fourth. Oh! Martin gets staggered. And Alulon finishes strong. What an interesting Wow, round. was that enough to win it, though? sure you never count a former champion out yeah, you're true. You're and that's right. what they're fighting for this of the future this is the vacant pbf bantamweight championship right great yeah. showing by benazir alulod in that last round we gave him that last round we gave round number four to benazir alulod despite the early onslaught by carl james martin it is what um, alulod did in the middle part even towards the end of the round some counters counters is playing a factor now, you did mention Noel earlier that the collection of data. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's actually redeeming it right now. And Alolod and his corner know exactly what to do. Question is, can they execute? Oh, nice. One-two combination coming from Carl James Martin as round number five gets underway. Noel Zarate is still alongside Rico Robles. The fists of the future brought to us by Signal. And Mandaluyong Jim is rocking right now. Alulod playing the brave man fight. Throw it at me. Come on, I'll take it. I'll take it. He has to take note that this guy got 12 KOs in his record in his 13 fights. Now we've seen a lot of upsets happening. And if Benazir Alulod does win this, it should be recorded as an upset. Remember, James Buster Douglas, an 8 1 underdog against the great Mike Tyson. And he dropped Mike Tyson in Tokyo. And the corner wasn't even ready when Mike Tyson got dropped. That's right. Because nobody was expecting that. And the same thing with Manny Pacquiao against Juan Manuel Marquez, December of 2012. Walked into a foot. <laughs> a foot that had a sandwich behind it. Right. And Manny Pacquiao, of course, got knocked out in the uh, sixth round by Juan Manuel Marquez. Can it happen here? Although, Carl James Martin is now fighting out of the corners. The corner traps that Benazir Alulod is setting. But you know, I, I worked for Alulod in the last round is that every time Martin would throw, he would throw. He would count it. He would two. stun yeah. Martin. So he's trying to lure him in in that way, oh. but Martin is fighting him smart. However, Alulod got rocked with that body shot, trying to stay out of the way of these punches, but he's hurt. Alulod is now covering up, and referee Elba Coloma is looking very closely at the development. Still no answer here from Alulod. Tries to tie him up. But he cannot tie him up. And oh. down goes Alulod. Down goes Alulod. Took all that punch. Six, seven. Does he still eight. have enough? Yeah, he just nods his head right now a little reluctantly. But that was like a 16 punch beauty. Put together by the 20 year old from Ifugawa. It could be a better time here, Rico. If he's a Alulod, he is getting rained on. Can he survive this? He only got 27 seconds left in this round. He needs to survive the round. He needs to survive the round. If I were him, I would tie up. I would lean against the rope and tie up. 15 seconds. He's not going anywhere, though. At least now he's trying to punch back. Final seconds of the fifth. Switching his stance right now is Alulod. And that's going to do it for the fifth round. Officially a 10-8 round for Carl James Martin. And that all started when he got trapped in the corner, spun him around, and executed about 16 punches leading to the knockdown, Rico. And he took all the punches, survived it. Could that be a strategy? We don't know. Yeah, but, but the again, thing there is, the, man, the way he threw those punches, those combinations. Look at that. That's that counter earlier. But here is where it started. When James, Carl James Martin got out of the corner, this was the number of blows. He just kept on backing up and backing up until there was nowhere to go but 
down. He was looking for the ropes, but the ropes didn't save him that time. And this was towards the end of the fifth round. Complete domination there shown by the 20 year old from uh, Ifugao Province. From Lagawe, Ifugao Pro Province, actually. You know, we're starting to discover why they call him the Wonder Boy. Uh -huh. You know, uh, he has finishing touches. He has punches and bunches when he needs to step it up. That, that, that one could have been stopped. Right. He had an opportunity. He's going to go to work again. He made adjustments as well. He's fighting off the pocket. He's not as shifty as earlier. But fighting off the pocket will invite your opponent to actually make mistakes. Then you make him pay. So now the aggressive start belongs to Benazir Alolod, throwing a few jabs to try to get the round in his favor, at least on the early part. And Carl James Martin. Remember, we gave the fourth round to Benazir Alolod, and maybe the corner as well of James felt that they lost that round. That's why they stepped it up in the fifth. However, James, Carl James Martin gets hit on the side and uh, doubled up for a moment. Oh, nice shot over there. Multi-level boxing, faking the low and aiming the high. Now, the problem is, uh, Rico, is the power still there for Alulod after getting knocked down in the fifth? I think Alulod's listening to us now that he's working the body. He has to work the body yeah. to be able to negate the head movement of Martin. Now, Martin now is seeing it. He's inviting him to go to the body. But with the uppercuts that's waiting for him when he slips in the... Uh, what we call that shot is called a mustard on the shot. Mm -hmm. And you invite the person to throw the shot and you lean back and you throw an uppercut, then right. a hook. It's what um, Bernard Hopkins threw to Felix Trinidad oh, yes, yes. in 20, or 2001 uh -huh. that knocked out Felix Trinidad. So right now, Benazir Alulod is going on a counter-punching expedition. Oh. That's a throw That's down. A push. Yeah. So they have to come out of the neutral corner, or the neutral zone. Hey. I was about to say neutral zone, what? back to Star Trek, right? And coming out of the neutral corners. Now it's usually during stoppages like this where Carl Hamas Martin actually regains his bearings and goes back to the game plan. Just exactly what's Look happening right now. Punches in bunches. He kind of got headbutt earlier, but then he didn't mind before this exchange. No reply. I've lost count of how many punches connected there from Carl James Martin. Bring it on, Alulod says. Let's go. He's switching stance. When there's an exchange, a heavy exchange, he would switch to a southpaw stance. Oh, nice shot by Martin. Oh, nice counter, though, coming from Alulod. So now Martin, the last time he went the distance was two years ago. This is the deepest any fighter has taken him since that time. See, the spring in his leg has changed. He's just standing there, doing more head movement, but the leg movement is not as much as this bouncy as the earlier rounds. Final seconds of the sixth round, scheduled for 10 for the vacant Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship. previous round it is that body shot that Noel was talking about that wobbled James Martin but he still went back to yeah, work yeah so this was the uh, number of punches double digit punches with no reply from a Benazir Alulod now you gotta give it to Alulod he has stretched this to a seventh round this is scheduled for 10 now going back to the point you were making Benazir Alulod might actually be conserving his energy for a big surge towards the end but as we approach the championship rounds, which is a little later on, will he have enough strength to get that job done? You know, this one is similar to what we've come to witness with Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. That an undefeated fighter, just like uh, Keith Thurman on the Carl James Martin, going against a veteran. Yeah. A veteran that's going to take it to the later rounds. So you have enough because, you know, his previous fight was a unanimous decision loss. A 10-rounder. Yeah. So he's looking. That's, that could be probably be the game plan. A little that's game plan. Take him in the deeper water. Let him gas out, then finish him from there. We haven't seen, I personally haven't seen Carl James Martin 
this deep into a into a fight. That was a fifth round win against uh, Petro Haycock at gym. A first round win against um, Yuti Chai Wana Wong. That was his most recent bout, just last June. And again, the last time he was actually brought to the distance was way back in April 19, 2017, against Jason Buena Obra. That fight went the distance. Unanimous decision win for Carl James Martin in eight rounds. And he was 18 years old that time? He was 18 years old. Now he's 20, garnered enough experience. Uh -oh. oh! Wow, that was just a clean one-two. No defense by Alolod. Alolod slowing up. down as well. Yeah. Now his arms are starting to drop here as well, Rico. Uh -oh. oh, he gets hit. Oh! 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 And referee Elma Coloma waves him off. And it is a TKO win for the new Philippine Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion, Carl James Martin. But what a bout that was. What an action-packed bout, ladies and gentlemen. And that was the seventh round TKO for Carl James Martin. And we're going to see a few of the highlights in just a moment for the 20 year old from Lagawe, Ifugao province. And nothing to be ashamed of if you're Benazero alone. He's definitely gotten the respect now of Carl James Martin. And maybe these fighters go up against each other again in the future, but that was quite. A tactical fight, a tactical game plan brought in by uh, Benazir Alonod to stretch this fight to the seventh round, Rico. You know, the game plan was proper. It's just the body couldn't take it. Yeah. The mind was there. He just took so much that his body just gave out. It's as okay. simple as that. Well, the, the ring might give out right now as the Holy Fugal Province has entered the ring once again. Here we go for the final moments of the bout. Great, great shot right there. The power is there inside, outside. A lot of bravado made him pay. It's as simple as that. Right. I don't know that. that there was no way El Mokoloma was going to have a Benazir Alolod respond to that punishment. But again, nothing to be ashamed of for Benazir Alolod. So the decision is already, or the official time now, is with Boy Villanera. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Coloma calls a halt to the bout at 1 minute and 31 seconds of the seventh round. We have a winner by a technical knockout. And now the new PBF Bantamweight champion, Carl Tormes Martin. But deep down inside, Carl James Martin is breathing a sigh of relief. That was some fight brought to him by Benazir Alolod as he right, now uh, takes hey, the belt.